Hello, welcome to Homesteading Northwest Florida. Uh, it is December 19th at 10.30 a.m. And I think it's about 60 degrees. Oh no, it's 56 it says. And it's pretty windy today, north wind. And uh, this is, uh, what is this, gardenia, this tree here. Putting it over here out of the wind always at this time of year. And we've got a grapefruit tree, gardening zone 8A. Got some lettuce growing, and we just had some a lot of rain, a lot of rain this in winter. It's hard to keep the uh, firewood dry. This is an apple tree that I grew from a seed along when I first got here. Palm trees are doing all right. It has it's been a very mild winter, so. Clearing our uh, more Chinese privet. Always cutting back on the Chinese privet. Over here, this is a terrible tree. Real long, whippy branches. This whole area was just all branches. It's terrible. And here's some uh, mimosa stumps. I cut down about 50 mimosa trees, which is also an invasive. I'm starting to try to get rid of these. So that's what I'm doing here. What was I going to show you here? The gar uh, the uh, camellias. This white camellia I got is just beautiful this time of year. Also took out my headlight of my Toyota Solara. 21 year old car. And everything still works. But this, t uh, head uh, this fog light here had taken on water. And uh, I split it open with a hair dryer, and there's like an adhesive there. As soon as you get it hot, uh, it uh, you can pull it apart. You can break it along the seam. So I did that and cleaned it out. There was a rusty like bulb cover in there, made out of metal, and it was causing a rust look in there. But we still got some azaleas blooming here. Azaleas, and I've got a gardenia out front here. Got all kinds of buds on it, but uh, and here I've got uh, four green giant arborvitaes. They're doing okay. That was a junk pile when I first got here. Junk pile of weeds for quite a while. This is my other white camellia, and it's got a lot of buds on it, but it's in the north wind and a lot of hot sun, and it doesn't do as well. Some like holly, I think this is a different type of holly berry here. It's a holly with small leaves bush there but the camellia here is just because th there's a banana tree here and I think it gets some of the overflow and it's in the perfect amount of shade but the camellia is just beautiful got another bud there these are big flowers too they're like three four inches big beautiful flowers bud is there a lot of but it's almost done oh well, we got three more buds over there but what beautiful white flowers at this time of year you know it's December 19th and it's just a beautiful type of bush wish it would grow faster grow 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 so I'm cutting up some firewood I found Always doing that. This area used to be a pile of firewood of old sticks set when I cleared my back area here. And now it's going to be Lupinus Texas, Texanus, which is the Texas blue bonnet in that area. Hopefully they'll make it through the winter without any fungus, <laughs> which happens because it rains so much. So we'll see. 
Also cleared out, I got to do a burn barrel of all this stuff. And the bananas, this is what's going on in the banana area. Got some azaleas here. I'm trying to make these two sides match, so I didn't do very good with the azaleas. I just put them in the ground in one spot. But the banana trees are done for the year. There's some bananas. I didn't cut them down yet seeing if they would mature anymore. They're called ice cream bananas. They're smaller. So that's about it. Southern Magnolia here, which is turning out to be a very beautiful tree. That's also evergreen. I got some more of those in the back. But here's my composting and I'm saving this water. I'll just pull up the tarps and dump this rainwater in here. I'd like to clear a path all the way to the other end of my property through here. That sweet gum tree has got to come, a lot of trees have got to come down. But maybe gradually I'll get in there. But, uh, yeah, my fire pit. Ooh, just ran into a great big spider web. Here's some more southern magnolia. Ooh, and I found some mushrooms today because of the rain, but they're on the other side of the property here. Let's see if we could ever find any more in here. Here's another southern magnolia. And I do put a few stakes into the ground and keep the weeds off. Like now here's some hemlock, I believe, is and uh, smilac that's growing on this magnolia but it's this is a nice specimen it's straight it's it's growing slow growers evergreen that'll be a nice tree there's a big oak tree in front of it though a lot of oaks but the oaks are good firewood a lot of hard cutting though because they're so tall well anyhow 